Hi, it's Mrs. Griffin, and in this lesson we're going to talk about probability. Let's start with simple probability when we just have one event. Basically, probability is defined as your success over the total, or what you want over the total. So the number of ways to be successful, or get what you want, out of the total number of ways. So you'll have a ratio like 4 over 7, and you want to make sure to simplify your ratio. So always simplify it after you've written it. Let's look at an example. Find the probability of randomly selecting a blue marble from this bag. So first we have to count how many blue marbles we have because we need to know how many ways we can be successful. There's one, two, three blue marbles. And now we need to write that as a ratio over the total number of marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen out of 15 marbles. So we can be successful three ways out of 15, or we can get what we want three ways out of 15. Now we need to reduce this. Since both can be divided by three, we reduce it to one-fifth. So the probability of choosing a blue marble is one out of five. Now let's get a little more complicated and talk about if we have two events. Your two events will either be independent events or dependent events. Independent events are events that don't affect each other. So one event, well, it doesn't matter what happens in the first event, the, same, the, the probability of the second event will stay the same. So to find the probability of two independent events, you take the probability of the first event, probability of A, and multiply it by the probability of the second, the probability of event B. Now if they're dependent, that means one affects the other one. So to find the probability of dependent events, you define the probability of the first one, and multiply it by the probability of the second event after A has already happened. Let's look at some examples. Find the probability of rolling a 6 and then rolling a number less than 6 on a die. These are independent events. Because it doesn't matter what we roll on our first die, it won't affect what we roll on our second die. So we need to find the probability of rolling a 6. The probability of rolling a 6. Well, on a die there's a total of 6 numbers. There happens to be only one six, so it's one out of six to roll a six on a die. And the probability of rolling a number less than six, again, the total numbers on a die are six. There's one, two, three, four, and five, which are less than six, so there's five numbers less than six. So the probability of rolling a six is one six. The probability of rolling a number less than six is five out of six, and we need to multiply them. So one six times five six is five over thirty-six. So their combined probability of first rolling a 6 and then a number less than 6 is 5 out of 36. Problem number 2, find the probability of selecting a red card from a deck and then selecting another red card without replacing the first. These are dependent events because we don't replace that card. So the second event is dependent on the first event. So let's find the probability of selecting a red card from a deck. There are 52 cards in a deck, and half of them are red, so that means there's 26 red cards out of 52 in the deck. So the probability of choosing a red is 26 out of 52. The probability of choosing a red after a red's already been taken, there will now only be 51 cards in the deck, because one card has been taken away, and there will only be 25 reds, because one red has been taken away. So the probability of our second event after the first one that has occurred is 25 out of 51. Now we multiply these together. 26 out of 52 times 25 out of 51. Multiplying across gives us six, oh, three, I'm sorry, yes, 650 and 52 times 51, 2,652. And don't forget to reduce that. So we would get 325 out of 1,026. And that's the probability of choosing a red, then not replacing it, and choosing a second red. So that covers simple probability, success over total, and then two events, which we have independent or dependent probability. So this should help you with probability. Great job, and good luck with your homework. Remember, if you need more help with pre-algebra, then you can sign up for Nutshell Math. And I hope I'll see you there.
Welcome back. I hope that you multiplied across, but you could have cross canceled first since 26 goes into itself once and into 52 twice. Then you multiply 1 times 25 is 25, and 52 times 2 is 104. So the probability of first pulling out a red and then pulling out a second red without replacing the first is 25 out of 104. So that concludes our lesson on probability. We've got simple probability and then probability of independent and dependent events. So great job and good luck with your homework. If you'd like more help with pre-algebra, you can sign up with Nutshell Math, and I hope that I see you there.